Welcome to Chapter 3 of our story, where the heart of the Cogsworth Library beats with mystery and magic. Here, the air is thick with the scent of aged parchment, and the soft ticking of clockwork gears fills the silence. Evelyn Thorne, with her wild auburn curls, stands resolute amidst the towering shelves. The library, once a sanctuary of stories, now pulses with a sinister energy. Shadows swirl like restless spirits, and flickering gas lamps cast an eerie glow. Before the children lies a haunted book, its whispers growing louder, urging them to listen. Join us as we delve into this chapter, where imagination and courage are the keys to overcoming darkness. Evelyn feels the weight of her friend's gazes upon her, each one a flicker of hope and fear. Oliver Finch, with his round glasses slipping down his nose, clutches a notebook filled with his stories. His fingers tremble slightly, a testament to the tension in the air. Beside him stands Lydia Graves, her sharp blue eyes narrowed in concentration. She is ready to defend her friends, the legacy of her family's storytelling heritage coursing through her veins. Finn, ever the mischievous spirit, bounces on his heels, a grin plastered on his face. Yet, the tension in the air makes it hard to maintain. As the shadows coalesce into a swirling mass, the awakened evil reveals itself, a dark figure cloaked in mist. Its voice is a cacophony of whispers that threaten to drown out their thoughts. You think your imaginations can save you? It hisses, the very air around them thickening with dread. The children feel their hearts race, the stakes higher than ever. This is not merely a battle of strength, it is a confrontation of their very essence, their creativity and friendship against the consuming darkness. Evelyn steps forward, her voice steady despite the tremors of fear that course through her. We are more than just stories. We are the authors of our own fate. With those words, she summons the courage that has been kindled within her a flame ignited by the tales her father had spun. Oliver, inspired by Evelyn's bravery, finds his voice, weaving a story that intertwines their fears and hopes, binding them together in a tapestry of resilience. As the battle rages, Lydia embraces her individuality, her fierce loyalty shining through as she stands shoulder to shoulder with her friends. Finn, with his charm and quick wit, distracts the shadows, leading them into a dance of chaos. The gears of the library were to life, books flying open, their pages fluttering like wings, revealing the legends that had once inspired them. The children fight not just against the darkness but for the very essence of Cogsworth, their imaginations weaving a shield against the encroaching shadows. Each child plays a crucial role, their strengths emerging like stars in the night sky, illuminating the path forward. In the climactic moment, as the shadows lunge, Evelyn raises her hands, channeling the energy of the stories they have uncovered. Together, she shouts, and in that instant, the children unite their voices, a chorus of hope that resonates through the library. They push back against the darkness, and the awakened evil shrieks, its form flickering as the light of their imagination surges forth. A brilliant wave washes over the shadows, subduing them. As the dust settles and the last echoes of the battle fade, the children stand together, breathless yet triumphant. They have faced the darkness and emerged stronger, their bond forged in the fires of adversity. The haunted book lies closed before them, a reminder of their adventure, a symbol of the knowledge they have gained and the responsibility that comes with it. In the heart of Cogsworth, the library stands silent once more, but the stories within will never be forgotten.